I think right now mentoring is even more important than ever. And I really appreciate not just LinkedIn, but other companies that are investing in mentoring. The program that we run at LinkedIn is called our Impact In Program. And it is a global one-to-one -one mentorship program um, servicing uh, a variety of different audiences around the globe. So here in North America, which we say Namer, it is specifically focused on our Black and Latino employees here at LinkedIn. And then in EMEA, it is focusing our URRG population. And we love acronyms at LinkedIn, but URRG means underrepresented racial groups in um, the European Union. So that is the audience we service there. And then lastly, in APAC, we are really focused our uh, efforts in women in technology. So uh, the Impact In program is pretty large scale. We service a global audience, but we make sure that we are servicing different audiences in different regions for different needs. For our specific Impact In program, it is um, global. So when we say global, we match mentors and mentees from across the globe, which I think is really, really cool. In the beginning, we were kind of thinking like, oh, should we match it regionally? But we've gotten really great feedback that it's awesome to match with someone from a different part of the world, especially now that we work virtually, we have the means to do that. So a lot of mentees have expressed like, it's really awesome to just have a mentor from a different region and get to understand the nuances of their regional work. Um, so that's done regionally. And then the length of the program is we found six months to be the very sweet spot. Um, so we encourage mentors and mentees to figure out their own meeting cadence. But um, what we've seen a lot of mentors and mentors meet is usually once a month. So six times or for those that have more availability bi-weekly so that's like 12 times um but that's usually been the sweet spot um especially with everything that's going on now in everyone's day jobs i think six months is is a really good amount of time and then the way we match mentors and mentees is we love mentor clicks smart match um i love that it gives me like the percent like the percentage of how like like great this match is and then you get to click into it and then you get to see what specifically both mentors and mentees um like match with we also really like the suggested match tool giving so we like onboard the mentors first so that all the mentees that sign up on the platform uh, or like given a choice of ranking their first and second and third choice. And I think that's also really important as part of the experience, giving mentees an option of like, hey, this is what is out there. You know, like who would you like to maybe be matched with? So we use a combination of both. And I think that has worked really well for our program. As DEI professionals, it's always a question of like, how are we measuring success, right? Is it by retention? Is it by attrition? Is it by like, there are a variety of metrics, but I think what we have experienced so far from just participants letting us know, like all those results have been really great, attrition, retention of participants that have gone through the program. Um, but I think the biggest thing for us is creating a sense of belonging um, for underrepresented employees at the company. Um, I think it's really hard sometimes being the only one on a team or being the only one on, on, on a, a larger team. And I think it's really nice to just have a mentor that can really be there for you. So um, as important as attrition and retention numbers are, I think the feedback that we've gotten from participants of like, um, this is the first program that I've really felt like has been for me. I have my want, my own personal mentor that I can go to for anything, whether that be professional or personal. And I think it's also really important as mentors to experience a bi-directional mentorship. That is something that we really like to key phrase is that mentors are in it as much as mentees. Mentors get to hone in on their leadership skills, 
they get to mentor someone maybe from a completely different background that they've grown up in. So they also get to learn and understand what it's like to mentor someone maybe from a completely different background. And there's so much richness and learning there as well. The program has had a record number of signups every single every single cohort that we've launched. We're probably in our third or fourth season of onboarding another cohort. Um, I think overall, in terms of the numbers, we've had over 400 to 500 employees participate in this program. Um, I love the tools that Mentor Click has around like how many hours have been spent on mentorship? What are the focus areas um, that the participants are, are really honing in on? So those have been really cool to kind of see and get those monthly or quarterly reports on my end. But we've seen record numbers of participation and engagement. Um, we track internally on our end, has this resulted in um, em employee vo voice survey uh, results? If, if these participants have seen an increase in uh, belonging scores or career development scores or community scores here at LinkedIn. So we've seen really great results and um, I think we will continue to do so. Every time participants create like, uh, do their like surveys or their quick clicks, um, they're able to add any notes. And um, every time I read those notes around, yeah, it, my mentor is awesome, my mentee is awesome, we learned X, Y, and Z. I think those little notes and little moments matter the most and make me smile because I'm like, yes, this is exactly what this program is for. I think from my LinkedIn perspective, we're very lucky because we get to work for a leadership team that um, doubles down on the work of diversity, inclusion, and belonging. Um, so there wasn't really much of a um, need to convince but I think if I were to work at a place where I would need commitment from leadership, from mentorship program, I would first start off of what are the what are the goals and what are the what are the gaps right now that are missing in like an organization, right? Like what are the main things you're solving for? Are you solving for community, right? In in this really anxious um my macro environment are you solving for career development right like your your employees have said like oh i don't see any internal mobility here here at the company so i think it's really important to start off with what are you trying to solve for and then i think from there you can use data to really prove your point right let's say for example it's um career advancement like you have employees um share in a survey that I don't see internal mobility here. So um, there are no programs that service that right now. So we would like a one-on-one, -on -one, we would like to create a one-to-one -one mentorship program to service that, right? So I would do maybe use survey results or maybe use like manager feedback in annual reviews. So things that can really back up your statement that there is a need for your mentorship program, right? And then I think from there, once you get the buy-in, then you can go into budget, um, what's important, and then develop your plan from there.